I'm Lord Bello. I've been here for five years at Open Mats. Been a wonderful five years. It's a great gym. Really friendly. Really welcoming. Uh, people here uh, kind of go with you. So when you start out, they take it a little bit easier on you. Let you learn a bit. And as you get better, you get tougher. They get tougher. And it's a great way to learn. Kind of learn incrementally. It's progressive and challenging. I think jujitsu for anyone who's considering jujitsu or Muay Thai or any of the programs here. Um, one of the most amazing things about martial arts um, in general is dealing with adversity. So the fact that you're put in difficult situations, you need to relax to get out of them, and you get better at relaxing under pressure and working through something, and that translates into life. So it's not that martial arts teach you how to fight, it teaches you how to deal with a difficult life. Everyone has a difficult life, and the martial art translates. Translated into becoming a better person, becoming a better person at work, and better martial artists. You learn to become more confident on the mats, and that translates into confidence in life. Um, so tell us about, I guess, what you do outside of the gym and how you've kind of experienced some of these benefits you're talking about, uh, maybe an example outside. Yeah, absolutely. So um, myself, I do technology consulting, so I'm on my own. Um, so that's challenging sometimes. you got to find your own work uh, at times. Um, I think an important thing for me is that deal with a lot of pressure. So uh, working as a consultant, uh, you're under tough timelines, there's a lot of pressure. And I think when I was young, I used to you know, cram a bit, work all night, and try to get something done. And I think the jiu-jitsu philosophy for me is that you you learn to become more of um, someone who sustains effort, almost grinding, like you work progressively over time, uh, and that translated directly to me. So here, I kind of grinded and worked through my program progressively, I got tougher, um, and that translated right into life. So now I think about doing things over a long haul. And you see the guys on the mats here, the guys who've been here for four or five years, uh, they're all tough in here and they're tough in life and they're all progressive in terms of the way they learn it just to think about what's wrong, what's wrong with them on the mats and they're fixing that on the mats and you see that in life. So I think about, you know, where are my gaps in life, where are my life, my gaps in my career and how do I fill those gaps? Just like jujitsu, just like life. It, to me, it's, it's really synergistic. They go kind of like a cyclical, virtuous type of cycle. Mm -hmm. And what would you say to someone who's maybe <clears throat> intimidated by the whole MMA gym moniker or idea, um, maybe a little scared to come try it out? Yeah, I think it's a great question. I think I think everyone is. So I think my first time I was I was nervous about what's it going to be like. I'm going to have to fight someone my first time. And it's not like that. So this gym, especially this gym, is designed to be really welcoming uh, to beginners. My first gym 11, 12 years ago, you went in there and it was, you're fighting your first day. And it's good, but it was bad. I mean, it was not the right thing. I got hurt my very first time trying it. It was a terrible experience. Here, um, everything is designed. There's a curriculum, there's a program. You're, it's to go with you. So when you start, you start with what you can handle. Maybe after a few months, then they kind of progressively give you a little bit more difficulty, a little bit more challenge, but right where you're at, right where you're comfortable with. A few months later, you might start to spar a bit. So you'll be waiting for a few months before you're sparring, until you're ready. When mm -hmm. you're ready, you can spar. You don't jump in and fight anybody. Ever. It's just progressively you learn the movements, you learn technique, and it's a fun way to learn. So you learn something really cool your first day, you want to do that that night with your boyfriend or girlfriend or your husband or wife or your child. Hmm. But it's, it's the best way to learn. It's progressive, it's designed, but there's a lot of thought that Elliot and the teachers here put into the program. Uh, to make sure that it's designed for beginners to learn. And when you're in after three years or four years like me, um, it's great then too, because people can show you little movements and tricks. It's a wonderful place to learn. Awesome. And anything you can comment on the people you've met here, um, just what the community here is like? Yeah, wonderful. I think an important part of the people I meet in Jiu Jitsu, personally, um, is they're all great people in the sense that we share the same values. So people who are ready to work hard, ready to go through difficulty, um, they're good people. You learn a lot about somebody on the mats. You learn a lot about yourself on the mats. You learn a lot about other people on the mats, and you can see that they're good people. Um, they're strong people. Uh, they're willing to fight through and work through difficulty. And I made lots of friends. Lots of friends I'll have for a long time here. Uh, it's a great way to meet people. Because uh, when you meet someone in the bar or in the library or wherever you meet people, uh, you don't really know uh, who you're meeting. But when you actually spar with somebody, when you roll with somebody, you get a real sense of their essence, what kind of person they are. Any last comments uh, you want to leave us with? I just say it's a great place if you're thinking about it. Just come in, and try it out. Uh, I, I promise you, you won't be you won't be disappointed. It's not for everybody, but for 99% of people, I think there's a lot jiu jitsu can offer you. I think one thing that's that's really great about jiu jitsu in particular, Muay Thai is fantastic, wrestling is fantastic. Um, I think there's something for 
for people who can, you don't have to get hit, it's cerebral arts, uh, there's, it's so complex and intricate that you can start and learn something, you can learn shrimping and you're still working on shrimping four years later. That's an amazing thing, like there's always a way to, to learn more about everything in the art, it's a wonderful art. Awesome, thank you so much.